All right, let's just say it. The 20 bucks a month AI coding era? Yeah, it's over. Most of us saw it coming, but now it's official. Cursor, Claude, every serious tool in this space, they've all moved on. I'm not mad, just being honest about it. And this isn't one of those everything sucks now rants. It's more like showing up to your favorite spot and realizing your usual orders off the menu. You're not furious. Just kind of staring at the board like, huh, okay, so now what? Because for a while, 20 bucks got you something magical. Uh, real solo dev freedom. I'm talking about Cursor, but honestly, it could have been any of these tools. You'd open it up, build a Swift UI layout, refactor a bunch of core data, experiment with combine, and it just worked. No usage stress, no second guessing, just you and the code. And when you're building solo, that kind of flow is gold. An AI coding partner that didn't blink, no matter how deep or weird your session got, it made the whole thing feel possible. But now, yeah, the game's changed. Not because Cursor suddenly sucks. It's just that the economics finally caught up. Unlimited was too good to last. Cursor's just the clearest example. Real quick, if you're new here, I'm Daniel. I build iOS apps solo using Swift UI, Xcode, and tools like Cursor and Claude. If you're into indie dev life, thoughtful UI and honest takes on the tools we all use, you're in the right place. Let's get into it. If you were there, you know the vibe. 20 bucks a month, 500 fast requests, unlimited slow ones, and you were in. No weird plan gymnastics, no checking your dashboard every hour. Just code, ship, move on. And for solo devs, that felt rare. Most days are full of friction, Xcode breaking, App Store reviews dragging, random UI bugs that only show up on your test iPad. But for a little while, Cursor wasn't part of that friction. It just worked. You'd throw it a prompt, get something back that actually helped. You'd scaffold a new screen, fix a stubborn bug, refactor a view, and you never once thought, oh wait, am I using too many credits right now? That's the kind of creative flow that matters when you're solo. You've already got too many hats on, so having one tool that just fades into the background and lets you build, that's gold. But yeah, the shift started creeping in. First, it was the little nudges. You're reaching your limit. Upgrade for more. Then the docs got updated. Then the pricing page changed. And the plan I'm still on, Pro Plus at 60 bucks a month, literally disappeared from the public site for a while. Like, wait, am I still invited? All of a sudden, you're not just building, you're budgeting. You start wondering, should I hold off until the weekend? Or is this task worth burning credits on? Maybe I should just flip on auto mode and hope for the best. Cursor didn't do anything evil here. They're trying to stay afloat, but the moment it stops feeling like just build and starts feeling like uh, manage your usage, you notice the vibe quietly shifts. You feel it. No one really warns you what this kind of stuff does to your solo dev brain. You might think, eh, I'll never actually hit the cap, and maybe you won't, but it's not about hitting it. It's the fact that it's there hanging over you. Suddenly you're second guessing simple stuff. Should I run this agent on my whole code base or just this file? Do I really need to refactor now or wait until I upgrade to Ultra? Can I get by with Sonnet instead of Opus? It's like you've got an invisible PM in your head whispering, careful, that's going to cost you. And when you're already doing everything, uh, solo, UI, logic, Firebase, shipping, um, that little voice just adds more weight, more drag on your focus. Back when I paid 20 bucks a month, the magic was that AI felt like a creative partner, not a utility I had to ration like water on a desert hike. So let's talk about what 20 bucks actually gets you these days. Cursor calls it extended usage limits, which is basically code for if you only use agents occasionally, you're probably fine. But if you're actually building 
writing tests, running refactors, shipping new features, you're going to hit a wall way before the month's over. They even describe it as being for manual coders with light agent use, manual coders in 2025. That's like selling a smartphone that only calls landlines. Who's that even for? The agent isn't extra anymore. It is the workflow. We scaffold stuff, clean up messy code, run batch edits, generate docs, debug networking weirdness. All of it flows through AI now. 20 bucks used to cover that. These days, you're looking at Pro Plus or Ultra or something even more premium. That old 20 buck plan, it's not for indie devs anymore. It's for folks who dabble, not dive in. Cursor's new plans are pretty straightforward now. Pro Plus at 60 bucks a month, Ultra at 200. If you're building with AI every day, you're paying about the same as you would for a solid IDE, a backend service, or honestly, like just a couple hours of freelance help. And I'm not mad about paying for good tools. Most solo devs aren't. We get that time is expensive, flow is expensive, and switching gears all the time, even more so. What stings is when the pricing feels a little off from how we actually use the tool. Like it's not about the number. It's about the vibe, the way the tiers are presented, the hidden plan pages, the awkward messaging. Honestly, I kind of wish Cursor just said it straight. Hey, 20 bucks isn't enough anymore. If you're really building stuff, it's 60. Boom, clear, no fluff. And I'd probably be cool with that. It's the ambiguity that throws everything off. Right now, I'm kind of in limbo, still hanging on to Pro Plus, but I've been testing Claude Max too. Claude's 100 bucks a month, but it feels a lot like Cursor used to. Clear session windows, no token counting, just a solid AI partner. I don't have to babysit my usage. I don't think twice before going deep on a refactor or running a big agent task. I just to work. And look, I'm still rooting for Cursor. I want them to win, but I'm only sticking around if it feels indie first. If I feel like a builder, not a line item on someone's usage chart. If you're in the same boat, you get it. We just want tools that let us flow, not tools that make us do mental math before we write code. So yeah, the 20 buck era might be done. But the indie dev mindset still going strong. If you're feeling the same shift, I'd love to hear from you. Drop a comment. Let me know what tools you're using, what's working, or what's driving you nuts. I read every single one. And hey, if this video hit home, give it a like so YouTube knows it's worth showing to other devs. And if you want more deep dives like this one about building solo, staying curious, and navigating this wild new AI workflows, hey, uh, consider subscribing. It really helps. All right, back to crafting. I'll see you in the next build. Peace.